let me take my message from the book of Genesis, chapter 1, verse 3. In the beginning, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. The earth was formless and empty, and darkness covered the deep waters. And the Spirit of God was hovering over the surface of the waters. Verse 3. Then God said, let there be light, and there was light. And God saw that the light was good. Take note of that. God saw that the light was good. Then he separated the light from the darkness. God called the light day and the darkness night. Hallelujah. Let me take it again, verse four. And God saw that the light was good. Then he separated the light from the darkness. Say to your neighbor, I'm not here. I can't hear you. I'm not here here. to get used to the dark, dark. but to shine shine. as light. light. Thank you. Yes. According to Genesis 1 verse 3, God's word turned darkness to light. So also, God's word, affected by the Holy Spirit, will transform your life today from failure to success. From hopelessness to happiness. From frustration to fulfillment. From sickness to good health. From frustration to fulfillment. And when you are fulfilled in him, you lack nothing and you want nothing. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Tell your neighbor, God is in his word. God is in his word. Yes, people of God. God himself created the world by his word. It was his word that became the creative essence, power, I mean the most important part of God that makes him God. God pulled down Jericho's walls through his word and by his spirit. Today, Jesus Christ is able to take you from where you are to where you have never been through his word by his spirit. He is able to make you do what you have never done before. Jesus Christ is able to make your impossibilities possible through his word and by his spirit. Let someone say Jesus Christ is able. What do you do when you are faced with impossibilities? Impossibilities surround us when we focus on our incapabilities instead of God's ability. As long as you try to solve your problems by power and might, you only create more problems for yourself. Possibilities come when we depend on God. Impossibilities come 
When we depend on ourselves and others, remember, the greater challenges many face today is because they are tempted to look to others for direction, where to go, what to do, how to do it. The cycle of life continues to go on and on and there is no change. If human sympathy could have helped you, you have been helped by now. If human pity could have rescued you, you have been rescued by now. If human solution could have solved your problems, you have been problem free by now. Human solution is no solution at all. Tell your neighbor, come. I can hear you. Come. Let us go to Jesus Christ. As Bartimaeus did. Because he is able to make a way where there seems to be no way. In that Mark 10, from verse 46 to 52, Mark 10, verse 46 to 52, blind Bartimaeus lose confidence in man. That was why he cried out, Son of David, have mercy on me. Many tried to stop him. Many rebuked him. But he refused to be stopped. He knew that instead of tension and pressure to stop him, instead of tension and pressure to stop him, he discovered better strategies and tactics to further his cause. I believe that he had good spiritual eyesight. He could see what people with good eyesight could not see. Those who run after Jesus... Let me put it this way. Those who have good spiritual eyesight see that beauty in Christ Jesus that will effectually draw them to run after him. Because in Christ Jesus, nothing is lacking Why everything is necessary. May today be the day you will receive direction, Amen. instruction, Amen. and the revelation you need. Bartimaeus sat by the side of the road because he was blind. You who are sitting by the highway of light, you who are sitting by the highway of life, saying, I am blind, I have no job, I'm sick, I'm lonely, why me of all this? Does God not care about me? Or is he just passing by? Cheer up. Bartimaeus cried out, and the son of David stood still. May your crying out make the son of David to stop in front of you today. May your crying out make the son of David to stop in front of you today. People of God, no matter what life brings, God is good. No matter what your lot is, God is good. 
No attribute of God is as recommended as his goodness. Therefore, it is of absolute necessity that we believe in that name, Jesus Christ. God has appointed it. It is given under heaven. It has all powers and authority, both in heaven and on earth. Not only does the name Jesus Christ bring healing, the name is also the source of salvation. We know that there is no other name by which deceased bodies can be cured. And there is no other name by which sinful souls can be saved. Our salvation is not in ourselves. We can destroy ourselves, but we cannot save ourselves. Therefore, it is not enough. It is not enough to come to Jesus Christ for healing. But when you are healed, you must continue to follow him. That you may honor him and receive his instructions. Because in coming to Jesus Christ for help and spiritual healing, you must have an eye to him as the promised Messiah, the trustee of mercy and grace. Are you sick? Are you poor? Are you empty? Cheer up. For Jesus Christ called you today For Jesus Christ called you here today to heal you, to bless you, to fill you, and to make you whole and clean within. I want you to know that God is who he is. You cannot see him or know his identity before believing in him. He keeps using everything he has made. He used stars to motivate Abraham's faith for children. He used a fish to give Peter money. He used water to turn a marriage into a place of miracle. He used Peter's shadow to heal the sick. He used Apostle Paul's apron to set the captives free. Today, he's going to use me to take you from where you are to where you have never been. He can use any medium to express himself. Do you believe that? Yes. Do you believe that? Yes. Rise up, rise up, rise up, rise up. Say, I'm not here, I'm not here. to get used to the dark, yes. but to shine, to shine. as light. Say, let there be light. Let there be light. In my marriage, let there be light. In my business, let there be light. In my career, let there be light. In my family, let there be light. Begin to speak light to every department of your life. Begin to speak light to everything that has to do with you. Speak light to your finances. Speak light to your career. Speak light to your business. Where the light of God is, darkness has no hiding place. Begin to speak light, speak light, speak light. You have the power of the name Jesus Christ at your command. Speak light to 
your career. Speak light to your finances. Speak light to your business. Speak light to your marriage. Speak light to your family.